guys, it's Lisa. Oh, let me readjust my camera a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Guess what today is? Today is three months since my surgery. My three months surgery first three. Woo -woo -woo. Who's celebrating with me? I can't believe it's been three months. Oh my goodness. Okay, so is time just flying for anybody else? It's crazy to me. Like, really, truly, it does not feel like it's been three months. Three months. Three months. Three months, guys! Sorry. I need to pluck my eyebrows. You probably see that. <laughs> okay. Three months. Where is the time gone? Like, it's flown. Okay, yes, many of you know I've been doing lots of business things on my channel, and I apologize. It's going to be for both business and for me tracking my journey. Because part of my new journey is letting go of things and looking up from devices and such as that. And part of me looking up is me finding myself. And do you know what? This has been such a blessing to me and my family. So, I apologize. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I would love it if you guys would join me in that as well. Even if you don't join. I mean, at least cheer me on and root for me. I'd appreciate it. If possible, I'm not asking much. Um, you guys, in three months, I have done so much. And not just for my business. <laughs> I've done so much. I don't know about you guys, but in three months, I've changed more now than I have, I think, in probably the past six years. In three months. So, let me just go over a few things. Let's go over some stats, guys. Stats. Something I haven't talked about in a while. Sorry. And it's not because I haven't been keeping track and it's not because I haven't been recording. It's just because I've been so busy trying to launch my business. So I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay. So January 13th. And today is the 13th. So I made sure I recorded this on my surgery anniversary because it was so important to me. And it does mean so much to me. On January 13th, 2016, I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy. In Lexington, Kentucky, at Central Baptist or Baptist Health Hospital with Dr. George Weiss, who is an amazing doctor, who has an awesome bedside manner, and I love him to bits. He's pretty amazing. Um, so, and he's with uh, Bluegrass Bariatrics in Lexington. I forgot the name of his clinic, his clinic service, so I apologize. Okay, um, my starting weight the day of surgery was 327.8. So, today, I weighed in. I actually weighed in a few days ago because I was so excited and I couldn't wait. Okay, I don't weigh in every day anymore. I did for a long time. I don't anymore because I like the anticipation and I like the, <gasps> how much did I lose? How much did I lose? So, I like that excitement factor. So, I don't weigh in anymore every day. I weigh in like once every week to 10 days or so. But I'll tell you what, I was so excited to weigh in. I had to. And I hit a major NSV, or a major, no, not NSV, a major scale victory. A major scale victory for me. I've lost 50 pounds! Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm super excited about that. Maybe overly excited? Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, so as of today, and I'm over 50 pounds now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so starting weight was 327.8. Today I weighed in at, at not three. Oh, I'm out of the threes. Woohoo! Um, 276.1. You guys, that's 51.7 pounds. Y'all already know this chick has happy. 51.7 pounds. Do you hear that? You hear that? Oh, the clapping! So excited. 51.7 pounds in three months. What? 
that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've gone from a size 28, 26, 28. I had some 28s. Dare I admit that? I did. I didn't have very many, but I had several. And I had several 4X shirts. Um, I have, as I've gotten down and I've gotten below each size, I've gotten rid of them. I don't even want those clothes in my house at all. I don't because I'm never going back there. And I encourage each of you to do the same. Don't hold on to that because that means you're holding on to the chance that it's going to happen again. That's why my kids don't use the word try. It's not allowed. Not allowed. They're not allowed to use the word try because that's leaving room for failure. We're not leaving room for failure, especially with this. I am going to succeed and I'm going to rock this. And it's helped me so much. That's part of my channel is letting go of things and letting go of my weight. Sometimes I don't realize that we do hold on to it. I have a food obsession. I know I do. Good golly, I love food. I love it. And I used to really bad be a comfort eater. Now I can't do that. So I haven't found that I've had any um, transfer addictions, thank goodness. And I've really been mindful and careful of that. Well, maybe LuLaRoe, my new business, my new clothing line, mm, <laughs> could possibly become. Got to watch that. Um, but truly, I mean, we have to be mindful of transfer addictions. If you're not aware of transfer addictions, I go to Overeaters Anonymous. Um, I'm actually a couple groups online as well as a couple support groups for that. And um, I talk about it. I think you need to. You're an addict. Same as a drug addict. You're an addict. Same as an alcoholic. You're an addict. We're addicted to food. It's okay to admit it. And just like with addicts, they might have relapses. You might have a cheat day. You know what? It's the same dang thing. It's the same thing. So it bothers me when people judge others. Because an addict is an addict is an addict is an addict. Doesn't matter. Our addiction is apparent in our weight. Their addiction is apparent in their alcoholic breath, is apparent in track lines, whatever. And it's the same. An addict is an addict. And we're all human. And we all make mistakes. And we all struggle with things and we all have our own demons and it's all in how we tame those demons and how we handle those things so let me get off my soapbox for a minute sorry apologize that's something I'm very passionate about because a lot of people will judge others and like talk about well that drug addict or that alcoholic I'm an addict I'm an addict so it's, it's the same. Some people have gambling addictions. It's an addict. It's an addict. Um, so ours is just apparent right here in my body. You can see it. I'm an addict. Anyway, okay, so my goal weight that the doctor set for me is 165. You guys, I'm still 100 pounds away, but you know what? I was... 170 pounds away. Now I'm only like a hundred and no, I was almost 170 pounds away. Now I am about 108. Really? That's good. I'm okay with that. I may not get down to 165 because I think that's a little bit of a low goal weight for me personally. So we'll see. That might need to be adjusted. And I told the doctor that too. And he said, well, we'll see, and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So guess what? We will. Um, let's see here. My Oh, another huge non-scale victory for me, guys. 
My starting BMI um, was 47.1. Uh, 47.1. Did we hear that number? Now, my BMI is 39.1. Booyah! I'm under the 40s. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Am I still morbidly obese? Mm, probably. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm getting there. And I'm seeing... <coughs> <coughs> Have a cold. Sorry. Um, I'm seeing massive changes. So I was in about a size 28, 26, 28. Um, as of last week or so, I can comfortably with room and probably without buttoning them up can put on a size 18. That's a lot. <laughs> I've not met, oh my goodness, hiccups. <clears throat> What a video. Sorry, guys. Um, I have not measured my inches. I need to do so. Haven't done it. <clears throat> I'll probably do that for next week's video. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do that. Oh, yeah, look. I used to always play with my... Let's try this again. Anyway, I used to always play with my jiggle right here. <laughs> and I don't anymore <laughs> because it's not there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, you guys, I'm... I don't want to ramble on too much, but I'm just excited just to touch base with you guys and just to sit and chat and be able to just be laid back and just share some things that are on my heart and on my mind. Um, a couple struggles I've had is my water. And I'm so glad I'm not the only one. I see so many people talking about that on their videos. Look, I got it right here. Got my Zen bottle full of water. You guys, I probably only drink one or two a day. And this is only like 20 ounces or so. I always drink a shake in the morning. Um, and then I drink a shake in the afternoon. And I have those in between my meals. Because I'm only averaging like 600 calories. If that. And I don't know about anybody else. And I would love some feedback in the comments. Love it. Does anybody else struggle or forget to eat? Like not hungry at all. Do you know there was three days last week and I caught myself doing it every single day because I track what I eat in my phone? Three days last week, I got 300 calories. And it's just because I forget to eat. And I'm not all that super busy but I'm not hungry at all my daughter was also on spring break so that did throw our days off just a little bit but I, for I forgot to eat I never forget to eat like who does that that never was a thing before never never had to struggle with forgetting to eat um food was my life I always made sure I ate. Ugh, I don't know. It drives me crazy. Does anybody else struggle with that? I have alarms set in my phone now. Um, and I do a small shake in the morning and a small shake in the evening so that I get enough protein in. Um, but ugh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Um, I'm not saying that's all I eat. Oh, please don't think that. No, 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 no. I have food. Like today. I've been eating on this for like two hours. It's a burger. And I had spinach with it. I had a little bit of spinach with it. And um, I grilled burgers last night on the grill. And then, uh, since we can't have buns, I wanted to make it a little different. So, I've got an Asian, I've got sesame seeds on it. <gasps> I don't want to spill it. There we go. I got sesame seeds on it. And an Asian sesame dressing. And oh my heck, it's so delicious. But I've been eating on it for like, uh, three hours. Because I'm not hungry. So I sit there and pick and pick and pick. And we'll just eat little bites. I try to sit down and eat, you know, a small amount and eat a meal. That doesn't work for me so well. 
um, we had some friends over for my birthday. My birthday was last week. Many of you know. Thank you for the birthday wishes. It means a lot. But we had friends over last week for my birthday. And I ate, you know, a small portion. And yes, I had birthday cake. Judge me. I don't care. I had birthday cake. Sure, I had a very small slice. And it was not appealing to me at all like it was before. Okay. I turned 40. I'm 40. I'm old. I'm okay with it. I love every one of those years. Um, it's my 40th birthday. It only happens once. Yes, I had a piece of cake. I don't care if you judge me. I don't care. Yes, I had cake. I'm going to say it again. Anyway, my little piece of birthday cake was delicious. Yummo. My mama and my daughter made it just for me. It was yummy. Anyway, used to be I'd eat the whole darn cake. Kid you not. Especially chocolate with chocolate icing. Yes, please. And homemade chocolate icing at that by my mama. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. No, <laughs> not this year. <coughs> I swear I had maybe five bites. I sent the rest home with other people. I cut it up in huge chunks and said, here, take this home. Here, take this home. We were left with a piece about mm, this big and then two pieces for the missionaries for our church. And you know what? I gave it to him before I'd set stuff aside and say, oh, it's for the missionaries. And I would eat it. Not anymore. I don't have that issue now. <laughs> but I used to do that. Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> so, anyway, I, it just wasn't a temptation. It's not a temptation like it used to be. I still love me some chocolate. Matter of fact, I keep this. Mm, I'm in my office. I don't see it. Um, I keep this dark chocolate um, candy bar. Yeah, I have a candy bar in my office at my desk. And it's sitting out. It used to be, a, I would hide stuff. It's sitting out on my desk. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there it is. See that? My guilty pleasure. It is... An organic dark chocolate and toasted almond. It's been in here for a while. <laughs> you can tell. There we go. And I have it. I've been eating on this for a while now. Used to be. Yeah, I'd eat this in um, about 30 seconds flat. Now, this is all that's left. But I will have like a square or two. And you know what? For me, that suffices. Not everybody likes dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Always have. My grandmother got me hooked on dark chocolate when I was very small. When dark chocolate really wasn't a thing. Sorry all the noise. My grandmother has always loved dark chocolate. Um, she lived in Hawaii for a long period of time and would have um, dark cocoa. Um, and she loved it and so she would send it to us for Christmas and for holidays and for birthdays we would get dark chocolate um, usually dark chocolate with macadamia nuts and it's still one of my favorites um, and so I've been a dark chocolate person ever since then so now that's what I turn to is dark chocolate and I'm real funny I'm one of those weirdos I don't eat any corn syrup I don't eat any um, modified foods and I don't eat anything processed so we make everything at home from scratch everything so we don't eat like um, sausage and stuff like that anymore I do eat hamburger but I get it ground I buy whatever the piece of meat is that's on sale and I ask them in the meat department to grind it for me 
and then it's so much more um, it's so much leaner and you get a lot more um, what what am I looking for what is the words words are not coming to me you have a higher meat to fat ratio that's what I'm thinking of <laughs> oh goodness anyway I'm just rambling but I just this is what sometimes I'll have a treat but it's only like per square it comes out to like 25 or 30 calories doesn't help my calorie situation and I still eat I have a yogurt a day Oikos uh it, Angie it's and it's just Angie was talking about the Oikos um triple zero yogurt I have one of those just about every day usually for breakfast I'll have that um, for snacks, I have cheese sticks. For snacks, I have, um, I love tuna fish with um, Greek yogurt, and I use the Faye, looks like F -A, it's F-A-G-E yogurt, but I only use the total 0%, and I use that in place of mayonnaise, um, in place of sour cream. I'm a funny one. I don't eat, I eat all on plan. I do really well, except for I have birthday cake. <laughs> judge me I don't care <laughs> anyway but um yeah here's the thing we're all human and you know what this is a lifestyle change it's not a diet so guess what if you have birthday cake it's okay because you know what tomorrow's a new day and within your lifestyle if you have a treat as Tanya was talking about on um, Hindered to Happy, one of my good friends, um, Tanya was talking about too, to have a cheat day. You know what? As little calories as we're eating, for me to have a piece of birthday cake, really? Is that going to hurt me in the scheme of things? No, it's not. And do I do it every day? No. And I don't recommend doing that every day. But to have a treat, that's totally okay. And it's not the same as overindulging. As I would have done in the past. I didn't eat the whole cake. Even though I wanted to. No, I didn't. But still. I used to. <laughs> and I didn't just want to. I would do it. People would make a cake for me for my birthday. Oh, it's my birthday cake. I'm going to eat it. Not that way anymore. Anyway. So, yeah. I mean, it's a lifestyle change. It's not a temporary fix. It's a forever thing. So you can't say, I'm never going to have, I'm never going to have, I'm never going to have, I'm never going to have. Yes, I do not give myself other things. I don't have rice. I don't have pasta. Even though I'll eat, like, I had, like, two bites of my daughter's pasta. She made a pasta the other day that she shared with my son. Um, and I had, like, two bites of her pasta just to try it because she made it. And it was really good, but not a temptation for me anymore. There was no protein in it. So, as I told her, no protein. Mama can't have but a bite or two. And that's all I had was a bite or two. So, it's a lifestyle. And it's for forever. So, just remember that. And don't beat yourself up over things. You didn't kill a baby. You ate a piece of birthday cake. Just saying. We beat ourselves up too much. Don't do it. Let it go. Which is what my channel is all about. Looking up and letting go. So until next time, check out my page if you get a chance. It's my business page. So check it out if you get a chance. It is clothing that will shrink and will help us. And we don't have to buy brand new clothes. Because my clothes, guess what? They are fitted and the way they fit They'll fit me for a while. My leggings fit from size 12 to 24. Think I'm going to be wearing that for a little while? Bet your booty I'm going to. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing fabulous. But until next time, let's look up and let go together. You guys have a wonderful and great day. I love you to bits. Mwah!